Johnson County has recently collected a countywide stormwater network that includes both man-made and natural stormwater features, including streams, lakes, and watersheds. As part of this project, a tool was also created that would allow users to trace through the entire countywide stormwater network using a trace tool that has been integrated into the online mapping system. To find this tool, you will go to the Tools section in the lower left of the online mapping system and select the Trace Stormwater Network tool. When you click on this, you're going to notice that it draws in the blue natural stormwater infrastructure features. And then if you were to zoom in on the map, you would actually see the man-made infrastructure, which are drawn as small brown features. Included in this tool is some information that tells you that you would need to select either an upstream or downstream trace and then click a point on the map to start the trace process. The help button here will tell you um, some information about a downstream or upstream trace. A downstream trace will trace from your location with the flow of water to its natural outflow and an upstream trace will trace from your location back against the flow of water to an origination point. So once you select upstream or downstream you'll select a point on the map and start the trace process. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on the map And you'll notice here once I zoom in relatively tightly, you can see those brown man-made infrastructure points and lines. I'm going to do an upstream trace first. Um, so if I select upstream trace and click on the map, it's going to start processing my trace. And it'll process this and an upstream trace will show you quickly here from the point that I clicked back against the flow of water to its origination point. Now an upstream trace would be useful if you are trying to find out where a particular contaminant may have started. So if you're finding contaminants in your stormwater, you can actually use an upstream trace to go back into the system and try and figure out where it may have originated. Now once you do one of these traces, a trace results window will open that's going to give me my upstream trace length, which is approximately 718 feet, the nearest infrastructure point to where I clicked, which was approximately 60.3 feet, and then it's also going to give you some information as far as where your point was located in the city, watershed, and who the floodplain administrator would be should you need to contact that person. I'm also going to do a downstream trace demonstration for you, so let me clear the map. Select downstream, and I'll go ahead and click on the map. and get this trace pro started. The downstream traces do take a little bit more time simply because there's a lot of features that it actually has to process through within the network to get from that point I clicked with the flow of water all the way back out through the network to its natural outflow, which is typically the Kansas River. A downstream trace would be useful if you're trying to see maybe where a particular contaminant is going to go or if there's this, you know, some sort of toxic spill into the stormwater system, you can figure out, you know, once it's spilled, it's going to travel through the system to the river, but who all would be affected and where is that contaminant going to end up? Now, like I said, these do take a little bit more time simply because of all the data that has to be processed. But once this downstream trace is finished, you're going to see again here the red trace back through the network. And like I said, it's going to go and dump out into the Kansas River. And it's giving me the information here that my downstream trace length was 16.9 miles. The nearest infrastructure point to where I clicked was approximately 402 feet. And then again, it's giving me the city watershed and floodplain administrator for that particular point. So that very quickly is how to use the stormwater network trace tool that has been integrated into the Ames online mapping system.